In the song, The Way We Were, sung and made famous by Barbara Streisand, there is a verse that says, Memories may be beautiful, yet what's too painful to remember, we simply choose to forget. Today, we continue our three-day journey of remembrance. Last night, the Lord's Supper, what connected us and what unites us as Catholic Christians and gives us our identity. I talked last night how memories and traditions give us our identity. And today, What's too painful to remember, we simply choose to forget. Thank God they didn't. Today we remember a most horrific day. Today we remember the crucifixion, the passion, the suffering, the incredible pain that Jesus must have felt. But not only Jesus, his mother, his apostles, his followers would have liked to have forgotten that day. The pain was too overwhelming. The loss crucified hope. And so today we gather with Christians throughout the world to remember an event that caused our salvation that caused us to be reconciled with God. Imagine that day. Of course, many of us have had the pain of losing a loved one. Most of us have. Many of us have had the sufferings of some kind of illness. Today is a day about suffering. And you know, it's said that human beings can endure any suffering as long as they find meaning to that suffering. Today is where we find the meaning. As we gather on this Good Friday, we gather as a broken people, either spiritually, emotionally, physically. All of us are broken in some way. And it is here that we find the meaning to our suffering. Because it is here, at the foot of the cross, that we stand and are washed in the blood of Christ, poured out for us, mercy poured out for us, we who deserve no mercy. Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing can we do to merit the mercy of God that was poured out on us that horrific day 2,000 years ago. 
how do we make meaning out of this? It took the early Christians, we have the advantage of knowing what happens Easter Sunday. They didn't. And that's why I say thank God that they did not forget this horrible day. That has been passed on to us as part of our tradition of who we are as Christian people. And so we come today to certainly give thanks to God for the gift of salvation that he gave us his own son. But we thank God too for the gift of this day which gives meaning to any suffering we endure. As I said, it, psychologists say that humans can endure anything as long as they have a meaning. So where is the meaning in our suffering? Where is the meaning in the pains that we endure? The meaning and how we can endure our sufferings is that we unite them with that event of 2,000 years ago. We unite our sufferings and our pains to the cross of Jesus. And in doing so, we are participants with him in the ongoing salvation of the world. That is how we make sense out of our own sufferings. That the mercy that God poured out and Jesus poured out was poured out on us so that we can pour out his mercy on others. That we can take our own sufferings and our pains and offer them with Jesus for what the Father has done. How many of you parents out there, I've known and I've seen and I've heard it so many times, who have a child who is diagnosed with a scary disease, and you see your child suffer, and you say, I would rather it be me than him or her. You want to take away that suffering. Jesus takes away our suffering when we unite it to his, so that we may endure faithfully what Christians have been called to do and have witnessed for thousands of years. As I said, the early Christians for the first hundred years didn't connect all these things of Holy Thursday, um, Good Friday, and Easter. They didn't have the privilege that we do to see how all this was the fulfillment of God's plan outlined in the Old Testament. But we, lucky we, who have the reflection of thousands of years of faithful followers, people who have remembered and passed on the stories and given life and meaning to what it is to be a Christian. How many people centuries before us have given their lives as a witness to this love that was poured out on the cross, this mercy that was given. And so as we remember Good Friday, let us not 
what's too painful to remember, we simply choose to forget. Let us not forget the love that has been poured out on us in the passion, suffering, and death of our Lord Jesus Christ.